the top 10 live rock albums of the 1960s. Number 10, The Beach Boys. Beach Boys Concert, 1964. Grade B. Recorded at several concerts in 1963 and 1964, this is a good live album with the Beach Boys original lineup. Standout tracks, Fun Fun Fun, Little Old Lady from Pasadena, Little Deuce Coop, I Get Around. Number 9, John Lennon Plastic Ono Band, Live Piece in Toronto, 1969, 1969. Grade B, the highlight of this first live solo album by a Beatle is Eric Clapton on guitar. Standout tracks, Blue Suede Shoes, Money, Dizzy Miss Lizzie, Your Blues. Number 8, The Rolling Stones, Got Live If You Want It, 1966. Grade A-, a great and very underrated live album, and the only one from the Brian Jones era. Standout tracks, Under My Thumb, Get Off of My Cloud, Not Fade Away, The Last Time, 19th Nervous Breakdown, Time Is On My Side, I Can't Get No Satisfaction. Number 7, 10 Years After, Undead, 1968, Grade A-. Alvin Lee absolutely shines on this live album recorded one year before his all-time classic performance at Woodstock. Standout tracks, I May Be Wrong, But I Won't Be Wrong all, Always, Spider in My Web, I'm Going Home. Number 6, Jerry Lee Lewis, By Request, More of the Greatest Live Show on Earth, 1966, Grade A. This is the third of Jerry Lee Lewis's three great live albums from the 1960s, and includes covers of songs by Chuck Berry and Hank Williams Sr., among others. Standout tracks, Little Queenie, Johnny Be Good, Roll Over Beethoven, You Win Again, Cryin' Time, Money. Number 5, Jerry Lee Lewis, The Greatest Live Show on Earth, 1964, Grade A. The second of Jerry Lee Lewis's three great live albums from the 1960s, and includes covers of songs previously recorded by Elvis Presley, Little Richard, and Chuck Berry, as well as a great live version of one of his own biggest hits. Standout tracks, Hound Dog, Jenny Jenny, Long Tall Sally, No Particular Place to Go, Whole Lot of Shaking Going On, Mean Woman Blues. Number 4, Chuck Berry, Live at the Fillmore Auditorium, 1967, Grade A. With the Steve Miller Band as his backing band, Chuck Berry largely ignores his rock hits, but instead plays some great blues covers of songs originally by B.B. King, Muddy Waters, Elmore James, and Sonny Boy Williamson. Standout tracks, Every Day I Have the Blues, Hoochie Coochie Man, It Hurts Me Too, Good Morning Little Schoolgirl. Number 3, Elvis Presley, In Person at the International Hotel, 1969, Grade A. This was released as part of the Half Live, Half Studio double album from Memphis to Vegas, from Vegas to Memphis in 1969, as the live half subtitled Elvis in Person, and then re-released in 1970 as a single live album under the title In Person at the International Hotel. Elvis had just made his comeback special the year before, but this is actually a lot better, as it has complete songs and James Burton on guitar. Standout tracks, Blue Suede Shoes, Johnny Be Good, All Shook Up, Hound Dog, I Can't Stop Loving You, My Babe. Number two, The Yardbirds, Five Live Yardbirds, 1964, Grade A+. This live album is actually The Yardbirds' debut album and features a young Eric Clapton already playing far above his peers on guitar. Standout tracks, Too Much Monkey Business, Smokestack Lightning, Five Long Years, Louise, I'm a Man. Number one, Jerry Lee Lewis, Live at the Star Club, Hamburg, 1964. Grade A+. This is one of the absolute greatest live albums of all time. and is a perfect album where every song is good with no skips. The killer is at his peak as a live performer and plays all his own biggest hits as well as covers of songs by Carl Perkins, Little Richard, Ray Charles, Elvis Presley, and Hank Williams Sr., among others. Standout tracks, Mean Woman Blues, High School Confidential, Money, Matchbox, What I'd Say, Great Balls of Fire, Good Golly Miss Molly, Lewis Boogie, Your Cheatin' Heart, Hound Dog, Long Tall Sally, Whole Lot of Shaking Going On.